Hey guys, welcome back to Must See YT. A few months ago, I posted a YouTube video discussing the do's and don'ts of the Stairmaster. But once you've mastered the basics, then what? Today I've got two ideas on how you can really turn up the intensity and take your Stairmaster workout to the next level. But before adding these new challenges, make sure you've mastered posture and ideally are no longer using the handrails for guidance. Let's get into it. My first suggestion is to try adding some intervals. I like to add these at the end of my workout and I'll usually do 10 minutes. I begin at level one and continue at level one for one minute. After one minute has passed, I crank it up to level 20 and I'll run at level 20 for one minute. I'll alternate until the 10 minutes are complete. Please keep in mind that I did not start at this pace. I believe my first intervals were done at level one and level 10. As I improved over time, I slowly increased the speed. If you think 10 minutes is too long, try a length of time that you're more comfortable with. And if by any chance you think it's too short, then well, my hat's off to you. Please consider that as your speed increases, your foot placement may change. If you have small feet, when walking the stairs, you might be able to push through your heels. But as you begin to run, to avoid stomping, you'll probably alternate to pushing through your toes. This is just something to expect. My second suggestion is to try adding some weight in the form of ankle weights or a weighted vest. I started with ankle weights. The ones I have are two and a half pounds each, and I think I got them at Target. Now, personally, I don't run on the stairs with either ankle weights or a weighted vest. When you start running, the weights start bouncing. And for me, I'd rather not risk injury. Just something to keep in mind. But aside from that, the two and a half pound weights are a perfect way to add just a little more challenge to your workout and really test your muscular and cardiovascular endurance. I will typically do 30 to 50% of the workout with weights and the rest without. And always remember, posture is key. When adding weights or intervals, this fact becomes even more important. Ideally, you want to work towards not needing to use the handrails. But if you do, try your hardest to only use them for guidance. Whatever you do, don't pull yourself forward or lean your body weight on the machine. Cheating only leads to slow results. Personally, I like to keep my hands on either my hips or swing them back and forth as you naturally would when walking. When you've mastered the ankle weights, now you've really graduated to the big leagues. Next comes the weighted vest. The one I'm using is 16 pounds, but lighter and heavier versions are available. The vest really takes the Stairmaster to a different level and will absolutely challenge your good posture in addition to your stamina. Like always, you don't want to pull yourself forward and you don't want to rest your body weight on the machine. I can't emphasize enough. Cheating only leads to slow results and could potentially lead to injury. Well guys, I hope this video has given you some ideas or inspiration. And let me know in the comment section what you do to increase your workout intensity. I'll see you next week for another episode of Must See YT.